Hey guys, it's Stephanie again. I know I uploaded yesterday, but it's one of those things like if I don't take advantage of filming and uploading when I can, it's just not going to happen. So anyway, I wanted to talk to you about the books I am planning on reading in June. These are the physical books I'm going to read. I might mention a few of the ebooks I will read because that's I just do a ton of my reading and ebook and audiobook form. Oh, one that's going to be a carryover from this month is The Book of M by Pang Shepard only because this is really big about 50 pages into it it's post-apocalyptic in a world where people's shadows start disappearing which causes them to forget things including like how to breathe and people are dying and it's this epidemic and it's a couple who have been surviving by holding themselves up in an abandoned hotel uh, but then one day like the woman's shadow disappears and she runs away and the husband goes to find her so it's kind of an adventure journey post-apocalyptic story with a little bit of romance so i'm really liking this so far like i mentioned i'm a tenth of the way through i'm 50 pages out of like 500 so we shall see uh but i am really liking it i just checked to make sure it was 500. um one that I am buddy reading next month with James Chatham is The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay by Michael Chabon. I know this is kind of a World War II novel where, where uh, one of the characters escapes from Prague and comes to New York and he and I think his cousin start a start making like comic books and they're about Cavalier and Clay and I have heard nothing but good things about this. I didn't have a ton of luck with the last Michael Chabon book that I read, but that was his attempt at like a middle grade novel. And this is the next one I wanted to read by him because I know this one is very highly regarded. So really looking forward to this one. Uh, hoping to tackle from my 15 books to read in 2018 TBR, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. The HBO movie came out already. I haven't seen it. I'm going to try to make myself read this first. So like then I can see how they, you know, reimagined it because that just works better for me. I can't go the other way around. Like once I watch it, I have a hard time reading it after seeing someone else's version of it. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm going to try to read this. Um, so yeah, out of my next like five books, I read Prodigal Summer. Summer. Wow. I read Prodigal Summer. I DNF The Little Stranger. I'm going to try this and I'm a few pages into The Gathering. So We'll see how we go with that project. Uh, for horror, I am planning on picking up The Rib From Which I Remake the World by Ed Kurtz. I don't know too much about this. I know this takes place in Arkansas. The back seems pretty vague. Like it's a small Arkansas town and like a creepy carnival comes into town. And I'm like all here for creepy carnivals. So really excited about this one. Again, I've heard good things about this but just not a lot about what the plot is about, which as you guys know, I'm totally fine with. I love going into books just blind. I mean, it's not great for TBR and like haul videos, but for my personal reading experience, I find that it works out great. Uh, next is a book I got from Word Horde, which is Corpse Paint by David Peake. I am doing this as a buddy read with Sadie. Uh, you might know her on Instagram as Mother Horror and, um, I think on Twitter she's uh, Sadie Lou Who, but she's, you know, really big into horror fiction. Uh, she's part of like the Nightworms review group that reviews a lot of horror and indie horror. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to read this with her. I, like I mentioned, I love this cover. Um, so this is about a rock band, like a metal band that meets up with another metal band in Eastern Europe and they find out that like, oh no, like these people are into some like dark stuff. So. Again, I keep saying I'm looking forward to this, but I am looking forward to reading this. I just need to find new ways to say that. I'm excited. And lastly, another buddy read that I am doing is Small Plates Short Fiction by Katherine Hall Page. And these are 11 short stories. They're 11 short mysteries. And I'm doing this as a buddy read with Candice, who is a commenter. She's not a booktuber, but she has a book blob, book blog why can't I talk? A book blog called bookqueenreviews.com. I'll link that down below so you can get a look at it. But it's a pretty short book for having like 11 short stories in it. And I've mentioned before, I read a lot of short fiction, but I've never read mystery in short fiction form. So that'll be interesting. Uh, looking forward to that one. <laughs> no, excited to see how like this one turns out because it'll be just something that's very new for me. 
Anyway, those are the physical books I am reading. Also going to be doing a buddy read of Kill River by Cameron Rubik with Sean over at Eclectic Reads. And we also may get to Entropy and Bloom by uh, Jeremy R. Johnson. So we'll see how that goes. And then usually other books that come up that I have to read for upcoming episodes of the podcast and stuff like that. But as of right now, these are the physical books that I am planning on reading in June. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope to see you again soon. And please tell me a book that you are planning to read in June. Like I said, thanks again. See you again soon. Bye.